All right, peace to the true ones. Now, this thing with the Brooklyn shooter, all right, if you don't know by now, a shooting happened in Brooklyn, and this guy went up in there, uh, the subway, right, and he shot some people, threw some smoke bombs or whatever, right? He's the he's the Brooklyn shooter, okay? He had a YouTube page, and he was... You know, he called himself the Doomsday Prophet. And a lot of stuff he was talking about is similar to what a lot of things I talk about. So all this coinciding with me coming back and then this guy popping out and shooting up some shooting up a subway in Brooklyn. By the way, my wife, the great mother, is from Brooklyn. (laughs) Okay, she's from Brooklyn. All right. And people believe this to be a psyop. In a way it is, and in a way, it's a warning. It's just a warning. He's called himself the doomsday prophet. He is he is warning of what's coming. And he's talk, he talked about, before they took his page down or his videos down, he talked about the destruction that's coming upon the people. And the people, um, he's talking about the planet as a whole for the things that are done on this planet. And just certain things that he say is similar to things that I say and others say. And he, he's not lying. But in the same breath, he went out and did what looked crazy. So, like, people like me, when we, when we pop up, so that we look crazy to you. But I don't care. It's the message. <laughs> okay? I don't, it, I don't, it, like, people's beliefs and what they think. This world is a whole fucking stage. All of it is. You have to go through this place and decode and dissect what's going on. He went off about Nature Boy and how the people in uh, his in Nature Boy's cult is in danger of being sacrificed by him. And we all saw it happen. And we knew he, he was on his way to... He was setting Malia up to be sacrificed. <laughs> if it wasn't for Nateri, it was over with. It was over with. He had them slapping each other, all kinds of shit. He set um, uh, Malia up on an altar and wrapped all kinds of vines and put flowers around her and shit. Like, he was prepping them to be sacrificed right in front of us. (laughs) Okay? That's what he was doing in front of the world. And then this guy comes out and starts talking about it. You know what I mean? He talked about some other people like... Hassan, he was, t- he, dude, dude was going off, but listen. We don't need to get into the rest of that. So, until you learn how to respect your mother, you can talk to your father all you want, but you live with your mother, not your father. Here's your problem. Mother Earth, Mother Nature, Father God. A father that you don't see, you don't interact with except through mysteries and secrets, whatever the case may be. But you have to respect your mother. I mean, you can destroy her. You can kill her. But if you kill your mother, guess who else you're killing? You're killing yourself. So he can talk about the masculine, the feminine, all he fuck. Yeah, okay. Really, it's only the feminine. Because the Bible is a bunch of words that were brought to you by people like Nature Boy who want to enslave you and control you because you're a prisoner or you're a captive of God. That's what the Bible says. And so I just wanted to talk about this for briefly. I didn't want to talk about a long time. I'm drunk as fuck now, of course, because I drank that 152 rum. And so I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm trying to make sense out of nonsense, which is this insane, narcissistic, mental patient having control of the life of innocent, you know, uh, children of other people. And they have no, this is what they want. Of course, you can't talk to them. This is what they want. This is what they believe. And hopefully, they'll believe it in a way that won't cost their lives. That this nigga won't ask them to commit suicide for him to show their love of loyalty, of loyalty, which might be the case. 
because he's no different than this nigga here, Jim Jones, or Dr. York. That's why I put him in, sandwich him in the middle. No different. Same shit. And these two did more for their community. This, this piece of shit ever could do. Jim Jones, definitely. Anyway, this whole situation is off the hook, but you can't expect nothing but craziness to happen from here on out. Um, this is Revelations. You are in the midst of the apocalypse. This is why it's important for God to be revealed. Mm -hmm. All sides of God. Everything that is God. So you know what is and what ain't and why. This is critical times and your soul depend on it. Can you evolve? It's time to stop following these people and work on yourself. The only thing I'm concerned with right now is the destruction of this illusion. It has to go. It has to go. It's time to move forward. Peace to the true ones.